All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, this story that I'm about to tell you, this next one, is really remarkable. Uh, we're about to meet a man whose life was forever changed 24 years ago. Uh, but that didn't stop him from realizing his God-given talent. Take a look. My story starts back in 1994 when um, I was a victim of gun violence. It left me paralyzed from the chest down, and my hands was affected as well. His hands were really weak, but he's determined. Even with his disability, it doesn't hold him back. I always was an artist all my life. I, I grew up painting and drawing and always looking at forms and wanting to uh, put them on paper. At the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, we had art therapy, uh, recreational therapy, and art therapy was a focal point for most of the patients. I realized that uh, losing that aspect of my life would be totally devastating because it was a, you know, a freedom of mine. You know, you, you get secluded and you don't want to talk about it, so having art makes you express yourself. Don't give up. And his work says, don't give up. It can turn out to be something that you never imagined it could be. And I'm, I'm a living witness that his work has changed our entire life. Hey, folks, please welcome Antonio Davis. Antonio, man, this is a really an extraordinary uh, tragedy that turned into triumph. How'd you feel when you woke up and realized that you were paralyzed? To be honest, Steve, I couldn't even comprehend that. I, when the doctors told me that, I couldn't comprehend being that, not able to be mobile because I was athletic, I was playing basketball, I was, you know, I was up moving around, and I was an active person, so to yeah. be paralyzed was devastating. How did you figure out that you could paint with your mouth? This is during the rehab process at the Shirley Ryan's Ability, Abilities Lab uh -huh. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to paint and draw with my hands, but that didn't work out too well. So an occupational therapist suggested that I use my mouth for painting, drawing, buttoning my shirts, different tasks, you know? It's all about finding a different way. Right. But finding your way. Right. So I found my way. <laughs> <laughs> now, your <laughs> wife, Juanita, is here in the audience. Yes, she is. Juanita, how you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> First of all, how long y'all been married? Well, we've been married 21 years. Yeah. I met him. Yeah. I met him when he was in a nursing home. Um, I just, I was visiting my father and I noticed that he was at the front desk and I said, what are you doing here? And he says, I live here. I said, I'm getting you out of here. So two months later, I found wheelchair accessible housing. I moved him out and I said, if you can live with me one year, I'll marry you. And one year to the exact date that we met, we got married. <laughs> so you saw him? Yeah. On the first day you saw him? Yeah. Yes, I grabbed the back of his chair because I seen him from behind. And I just, his silhouette was interesting to me. And uh, I grabbed his chair and I turned him around. He and said, I said, hold on. <laughs> Dudes, man, he said, I just look too good for him. And he... <laughs> <laughs> now, Antonio, you even caught the attention of President Obama, and you gifted him a painting. H how did you feel meeting him? Oh, wow. <laughs> it, it, it was an honor, Steve. He heard about the work that me and Juanita was doing in the community with the kids. So he wanted to meet us, and he came in, and he loved the painting, actually. He said it's one of his favorites. And thank you for not painting me with the gray hair. That was his comment. <laughs> uh, he said, thank you. So, it was wonderful. So tell, tell, this, this work that you and your wife do in the community, what is it exactly? A lot of the, the teachers, they call me up and say, would you come in and do a workshop or a seminar? Tell them your story. Inspire them. Tell them what happened to you and, 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 and tell them how you push forward. All about art and he healing. The power of the healing arts. That's our mission statement. Okay, so what, what, what's your ultimate goal for your artwork? My ultimate goal is for me and Juanita to open up a community center 
that houses my work and it can keep inspiring people that they can overcome any fear, obstacle, or any setback in their life and continue to be of service to your community, your family, and your society. Well, we've, uh, we've partnered with uh, Blueprint. Uh, it's a site that helps creative people uh, make their ideas a reality. And, like, they believe in the power of creativity and its ability to change people's lives. And to support your mission, uh, Blueprint is gonna give you $10,000. What? Yeah. What? Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna give you $10,000. Oh, man. Oh. So, Juanita, mm -hmm. I mean, you're pretty emotional. You got to be pretty proud of your husband. Um, yeah, I'm very proud of him. Um, when I first met him, he couldn't do anything. I was doing everything for him. And um, the strange thing about all of this is um, I, I got sick. And this man right here, the man that you're looking at, takes care of me now. He reminds me to take my pills. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of anxiety, and I'm so grateful to be here, and I thank you for what you're doing and the fact that you went out of your way for this. It's very amazing. No, thank this... You. No, y'all the ones that's amazing. Yeah. That, that, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Yeah. Okay, now, me and you, we just talking real, A.D.? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're trying to work your way into the art world, so I'm gonna introduce you to Swiss Beats. Huh? What? Yeah. <laughs> I know you know him. Huh? Uh, no, for real. This is uh, Alicia Keys, and her husband's name is Swiss Beats. And he takes young artists and gets their work recognized. Nobody's doing more for art in this country for young people than Swiss Beats. Yeah. I'm going to introduce you to uh, Swiss Beats and let him kind of put your stuff out there with his work that he does with so many young people and see what you can make of it. Your wife is with y'all have a great story. Y'all actually you are. Y'all a hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Antonio and Juanita. <laughs>